welcome, welcome to Whispers and Ink. Welcome to day one of the 12 days of Crafty Christmas gifts, you guys. We did it. Oh, but oh, is it coming so quick? You guys, I don't know how this is coming so quickly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, is that I'm here for it. I've got you covered. I have a lot of possibilities. And you guys, there are two things that I'm waiting on. <laughs> and I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to be honest. Shipment's been a little bit slow. So for a couple parts of my things. So I'm really, really hoping that I get here. But if you are new here, I am Jennifer Merle Hampshire, you guys. I am not only here to inspire you, but I'm here to give you permission to try something new. Hey, Dan, I'm here to give you to try, permission to try something new because I know that you can do it. Now, why do I know this? Because you guys, seriously, and I've told this story and I feel like I tell the story all the time, but I feel like I need to share it again. You guys, I was not crafty. I come from a long line of crafties, okay? I was not, could not find my crafty medium, if you will, um, because everybody's got different specialties, right? Some people are good at baking. Some people are good at barbecuing. Like my husband is awesome at barbecuing. Baking? Mm, maybe. Um, some people are amazing at wrapping presents. I love to wrap, but not so great at it. So, but here's the thing, you guys, once you find what you're good at, okay, you have to be brave enough to not be good at it at first because it's something that you learn along the way. And that's what I'm here to help you with. With that being said, I have lots of fun for us the next 12 days. I hope that you are along for the ride and... Today's project is something different, you guys, but it could be great for someone who loves to do wrapping. It could be great for someone that likes to go on nature walks this time of year. I do love doing that. And because, because, let's create and find out. Okay, I have pine cones, you guys, from my yard. I have huge, and I mean like monstrously huge, you guys, like huge, huge white pines in my on my property. So I get these beautiful pine cones, okay? Some of them, I have to tell you guys, I grabbed one of these and there was still a seed in it. Plant that. I'm going to go put that out in my compost. I have, um, I found a bunch of other ones that I put in my, in, um, on my side yard under some compost. Plant those. Don't throw them away. And if you don't want them, send them to me. So I wanted, this is what inspired this project. For my one day fall retreat, you guys, we made these. Now, I thought these could be fun ornaments. I also thought that these could be super cute gift bag tags, right? Slap a little to from on the back, right? And you could do, hey, Lori, and you could create, and apparently I didn't put enough glue on here. Um, and you could create this cute little um, gift tag. And then, because I love repurposing, you guys. 
You could have this cute little gift tag and then this could become a, an ornament. Just make sure that you somewhere on here put the year on it. Whenever I do handmade ornaments or send ornaments, I always try to use my Sharpie or whatever and inconspicuously find a place that you can put the year on it because... I don't know about you, but you guys, I love to gift ornaments. And actually, I have a whole bunch of these that I've made that I'm gifting to my family um, because I have a lot of pine cones. But I love using things from outside. Sticks, pine cones. Um, I've even used seed heads to the grass. Um, what else have we used? Oh, we've used actual leaves. I love finding things outside on the nature walks, right? And using that for projects. So, but what we're going to do today is going to be a take on this, but it's going to be a little bit different. So here's, oh my gosh, you guys, I just found another seed. I just found a second seed. <laughs> Oh, there's three seeds. Somebody's dropping some seeds, you guys. I bet you it's this one. Because when I pulled when I pulled this one, this one was one of the ones that I went out to gather. And you guys, as you can see, it's not open all the way. And it's been in the house, but I bet you the seeds are coming from here. Oh, sure. Because look, here's another one. There's another one. I'm looking to see, and here's one more. Did you guys know that you could plant pine cones? Side note. Anyways, moving on. All right, distracted. I'm easily distracted today. I'm going to be using my hot glue. And you guys, I have a menagerie of ribbon. You guys, can you tell I'm kind of all over the place today, and I apologize. Things are kind of crazy elsewhere, so bear with me. Okay, so I have my silver threaded braided twine, right? And what I want to do is I want to take the two smaller pine cones. I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to... Tie this in here like that, and I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue on that so that it stays put. And I think I'm gonna try to bring it round one more time. I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday so far. Lots of crazy going on around here, lots. Okay, so, not, and then I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to do the same thing. I tied my knot, you guys, and I'm doing it this way for a couple of reasons. It gives me a little more room. Plus, I have that stem on there, and that works really nicely. Because we're going to do that. And see what we're doing here? We're connecting these two by a ribbon. Does anybody have any pine cones that they can do this with? Okay, so there's those. I'm waiting for my hot glue to warm up, you guys. And we're going to do one more on this one. Here's all the ribbon that I have. I have red and green. And then this is that um, all about autumn ribbon because I wanted a, something with a little bit of substance but I want this. Did you guys see the ornament that we made using this? Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this ribbon. Oh, this ribbon makes me happy. Makes me very happy, actually. Okay, easy way, tying a knot, because I want it small, right? So, 
Now, I, can you tell? I'm, let me, let me tell, show you something here real quick. I leave my ribbon on my spool because I find that I waste less, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm making a regular knot, but do you see how I'm pulling to pull the knot down at the end? And I'm trying to be helpful. I'm not trying to be sassy, you guys. Okay. So I'm going to do one more knot. And I'm going to tighten that up. Like that. And then I like my big scissors, you guys. My big, my big old Stampin' Up! scissors. I really wish they'd come back out with these because I loved these. Anyways, I digress. Okay, so we've got our hot glue. And we're going to... Do just a little bit there and a little bit over here to kind of keep the knot in place so that it doesn't come unraveled. So what I'm doing, bringing you up close, it's going to get steamy. I'm going to do a little sprig of hot glue there. And then I'm turning it around and I'm doing one here. And there. Now, if I would have been thinking on the first one, I would have grabbed my Dollar Tree hack spatula and I could have tucked it down like this to kind of clean it up. And we'll put a little extra on here so that that stays. And we'll tighten that like that. Kind of cleans up that frayed edge. We're going to do the same thing with this. I think I'm going to try to see where I can tuck this down here. Yeah. So we're going to tuck that. You guys, I've made these with huge pine cones. I mean like huge monster pine cones. And the key here is getting this hot glue where we want it. And it's going to get all over. All that little stringy stuff. I hate that. That drives me crazy. There we go. Okay, so we're going to leave that there to dry going to put those to the side now we're going to work on this one i want to shimmy it down the end a little bit if i can turn it there we go and you got to be careful because you don't want to break your pine cone petals if you will And we're going to do the same and we're going to, oh, full of schmeglies. Turn that down like that. Secure these ends. So they don't catch on anything. There we go. Now, just like anything that we've done with hot glue, you guys, the hot glue needs to cool. And then you can pull all those little stringy parts off. And everything looks pretty good. Okay. So let's talk about what I've what I uh, cut out for us already. I cut out three trees from 
the Forever Forest dies, you guys, which are staying in. So, but you're going to want to get them. Whoops. You're going to want to get them at the bundle price because the bundle price is going to go away the end of this month. So, and look at all these dies, you guys. You've got stars, mountains or rocks, clouds, um, stamped green um, pine trees or die cut pine trees and then some mountains which I love lots oh and you even have a moon here love this die cut set you guys I have been using this like crazy which you guys know so I have that and then I also pulled in the joy of Noel here because I wanted some sprigs and you guys we could use fake sprigs but I like using these because that way then it um that way then it uh it curls naturally right the fake sprigs you have to cut them and then it gets messy and and the real ones will die and they'll get brown and and then I also use this noel and then we have our festive pearls because I want the red and I don't think we're going to do any stamping, but just in case, I brought in some real red. And lastly, we're going to go in with the metallic on the pine cone so they look frosty. Okay. Enough chitter chatter. So we should have, oh, there we go, some good starts here. I want that down just a little bit. So see how our pine cones are going to just kind of make a cluster like this. So what I'm going to do with this big one that's left, I'm going to knot this. And we're going to make a knot again, but I'm going to put some ribbon in it first. So it's going to hang off of something. You can put this on a big gift. You could make this the gift. It's entirely, whoa, entirely up to you. I do want these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Staggered is the word I'm looking for. I want those staggered so that it looks like that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be the best part. The next thing is this ribbon. So I want to take this ribbon and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to do an angle cut and I want, I'm starting in the middle and working this way and I want to do that because then you get this nice pretty end. But what I'm going to do next you guys is I'm going to put I'm going to decorate my ribbon. Do you see what we're doing here? Now, let me grab my silicone craft sheet. Just like that. We're going to put this to the side. And I'm going to put little dots of hot glue on here. And it should, right in the middle... So that it looks like that. You see it down? And then we're going to fasten that to the ribbon. Just like that. And I'm going to go long on this. Because I don't know how long I want that. And then the second one, I'm going to wrap it so that it's like that. So I'm going to take my two ends, my two cut ends together, and I'm going to pinch it like I did the first one. And I'm going to do my little trim. like that, clean up my edge, and then I have two 
spots. One of them, I was thinking, oh, and look at you guys, it fits. N, it's N-O-Noel, right? N-O-E-L. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Does that tell you what my life's been like the last day today? Oh. Granted, I'm not the best speller, but still. So we're going to put Noel on the ribbon. Like that. What do you guys think about that? And then our two little trees will go here and there. What do you guys think? Oh, happy to help. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so for the Noel, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the tree. And there we go. Again, hot gluing like that. And then putting it down on the bottom. So I'm using Garden Green in Real Red. And I have hot glue on my finger. And the same with the E and working my way up. Again, making, I love this ribbon, you guys. This ribbon is totally my style. It may not be for everybody, but you guys, here's the thing. Ribbon's ribbon, right? I love my ribbon. Use whatever you have. If you like this, the link will be in the description. Tonight, I will be adding it tonight because I've got a class today. Again. Oh, got lots of smegglies on that one. There you go. Okay, so this one, we're going to hot glue the small one first. I'm going to put it up and over a little bit. this one you guys to me this video is worth it just for this I was trying to figure out how to do the words on here and how cool is it that that Noel fits in there perfectly it was like it was meant to be there's that second okay so now all right, take a deep breath, you guys, because we're almost there. We're almost done. So here's what we're going to do next. Now, I like long tails on mine. So you're going to see my tails are going to go way longer. Now, if you don't want that, then do a little bow. You could do this in a little bit of a bow, right? And I want to stagger my end. And what I'm talking about 
is, you know, kind of like those, um, what are they called? Shoot. Um, awareness ribbons, right? Do a little loop on the top if you want it shorter or to get the length that you want. <gasps> Ooh, I like that. What do you guys think about that? And then we'll put that up there. Whoops, wrong way. That one needs a little bit more hot glue because I didn't get any at the top. But what do you guys think about that? While I'm putting this hot glue on here. So glad I didn't turn that off. <laughs> hot glue gun just fell on the floor. gonna fix this banner end pinch hold remember go towards the outside not where the fold is and we're gonna do that and we'll put that so now here comes the other ribbon do we want to do red green or both Red, green, or both? Oh, you guys, this is so cute. This is going to be so pretty. So, and that's what it's going to, it's going to, there's a lot of ribbon in here, you guys. I know where I'm leaning. What do you guys think? Red, green, or both? And what I'm going to do really is I'm just going to tie it around this piece right here. So what I'm talking about is these ribbons are going to go here. And down where this knot is is where I'm going to secure them. And I can do a little bow. I could do just a nice knot because we've got all the rest of this ribbon up here. And that way then you've got this somewhat inexpensive because you know you've got the ribbon, at least I know I do. What do you guys think? And then we'll pop in the our little sprigs tucked in the knot. No comment? All right, I'm going with it. I'm gonna do both. I'm sure that's a big surprise to you guys. So, all right, so we've got, I'm happy with how this looks. I'm going to wrap my ribbon in the back, and I've got that staggered, but I want to make sure that it stays at that knot, and then I'm going to put my other pieces up here like this, and then really all I'm going to do is tie a knot. Do, do, do. You guys knew I was going to do both. All right, so we've got that. And then I'm going to trim this one a little bit longer, this one a little bit shorter, because it's the opposite on the other side. Oh, Deanne liked both too. Okay, good. Okay. So now we've got, oh, you guys, isn't that pretty? Do -de do now we've got all that. I don't think we need those sprigs, you guys. Those can go in the bits and pieces, I think. I don't know. Do you think we need that? I like it just like this. 
I think there's a lot going on. I think it looks really cool. What do you guys think? I like it the way that it is. Now, the easiest way is just to make this into another little knot to be able to hang it up, right? But what I think I'm going to do is do a loop and then tie a knot. So if you didn't make your piece long enough, that's okay. Because you don't need a lot. Oh, come on. Everybody says I've got little fingers. I don't know. There we go. There it is. And then now you got a hook. And it's going to hang like that with all the pretties. Look at all that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh, all right. So last thing, right? I was talking about that silver metallic. And I did do it intentionally last, you guys, because this is going to need to sit and dry. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to go this way, right? Let's make sure that we got all our parts. Yeah, it's going to go this way. I love how things get kind of naturally kind of frosty looking, right? So we're going to help this one. And I'm going to watch what I do here compared to... And then I'm going to take a scrap piece, you guys, a, just a scrap little piece, and I'm going to kind of make it look like it's painted. So that it looks like that. See how shiny that gets, you guys? So you could put it on a plate. You could, and I don't want all of them. Because does, it doesn't look natural if it's all of them, right? Kind of using this like a paintbrush. And I don't want a ton of stuff. I want it to look like it was kissed by the frost. Okay, so that's one of those things where you're just going to kind of randomly, carefully put some of that enamel. If you've got the clear one, that would work. I don't know that Wink of Stella would work as well, but we can try it. Because I know not everybody has these metallic effects, but... I'm going to do a little bit over here because I'll when I let this dry, I'm going to sit it up in that cup. So we're going to just keep touching that a little bit in some different spots so that it looks like Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this is going to sit like this for now and let it dry. Anybody have any questions? You guys, anybody have any questions? Any questions, you guys, go ahead and put them in the comment section because, you guys, I am doing a video every single day for the next 12 days. You guys are going to be sick of me by the time this is done. <laughs> I hope not. Um, so if you have any questions about 
anything, you guys, put it in the comment section because I do go and check the comments every single time I do videos. I check the comment section. Um, but tell me what you think about this, you guys. Something that maybe, nah, not for me. That's okay. Okay. I promise you out of 12 days, I bet you there's at least a couple that you would like. Nonetheless, I hope that you have an amazing day getting crafty. You guys, thank you so much for joining me on day one. Um, It's going to be fun. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.